take a look at is going to be the skidded turn. And it's going to be in a traffic pattern, and we don't want to do this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate it. Follow me through. We're at about 90 knots slowing down. We're going to start a coordinated turn to the left. Now, the thing with the skid is the bank angle is only going to get worse when it lets go. So there's 30 degrees of bank. And now we're doing is we're simulating. We're coming from base to final. We're overshooting the runway, and we want to actually accelerate the turn by using bottom rudder, which is a bad decision. Now, look at the front of the window. As we put in the bottom rudder, we're going to see the nose slice and roll to the left. And we're going to stop it by using aft stick and right aileron, so we're going to be cross-controlled. All right, so here we go. Watch out the front of the I'm going to put it in left rudder. Watch, see the nose slice? Yep. I hold it up, right rudder. I correction, right aileron to hold it. Now what's going to happen, we're in a less efficient turn than we were before, so instead of fixing it by going to coordinated flight or going around, we do more of everything. So I add more rudder, aft stick, and here it goes. Pressure power rudder, and I level, and I climb away. Right rudder for torque. And up we go. We're in the climb. 700 feet it took us to get out of that one. Oh. All right. So you can see that the situation you get into, it only gets worse. The bank angle only gets steeper. And the reason you got there in the first place is because you didn't want to go above 30 degrees of bank. So it really makes a bad situation even worse.